Hi folks and welcome back to the channel and today as the description says we're going to be doing some varnishing. These are my doors. I've had these for around about 10 years now. Uh, they have had a coat going back some 10 years ago so I took delivery of them and they straight away had a lick of varnish. Now it was a water-based product at the time so what we're going to be doing today we're going to have to put these back to as they were as, as they came in from the factory basically so we're going to just give them a good sand off and then we're going to go over with another product. I dare to say I won't be using a water-based product this time because it doesn't the trouble is with water-based products they seem to be too fast to going off. Now I want something that goes off a little bit slower. Now this product I've got here this Ron Sealed Yacht Varnish really good stuff. Well it's designed for outside in the gardens so for doing work tops and doors it's got to be the best, isn't it? Only one thing with this product, and I will tell you, it does have a strong whiff to it. And besides that, another thing with it, you have to be cleaning everything with white spirit. But there is a good side with this. If you've painted today, and you're going to be repainting tomorrow, all you have to do is leave it in white spirit. You don't have to clean anything off. You know, so it's one benefit with that. When you always find with water-based products, you need to clean it up practically all the time. So before we go any further on this, don't forget to check the description. Down there, you'll find the links to my previous videos. And this is a series on DIY and painting and decorating. Right then, without any further ado, let's have a look and see what we're actually going to be doing. And I'll show you what the finished look looks like because I've actually got the finished part of a door already done. I can show you the finished coat, the second coat, and the first coat. Obviously, we haven't sanded it yet, so. Right, we'll get on with that one. So to start off, this is the finish you're going to be getting. This is the finished product. Obviously, that's inside the door, as you can gather. Now, I'll show you the other side. This, now, this has only had one coat. So at least you get a good idea of what a one coat looks like. All right. The only thing is it does show every mark if you've... <laughs> weird thing is on here, I've got a mark on here, and that was done 10 years ago. And you dare not sand it out. Uh, you'd be sanding too far back. That's the only thing with these type of doors. And over here is the first, basically, the one we need sanding. So but this has had, like I said, a coat on it when I did it 10 years ago, but it's nothing to think about. It's just covered in dust and muck and rubbish. There is a few marks on it. I'm not sure they'll come out with a sander or not. Now for sanding, you do want three types. You want a 120, probably a 180, and a 320 or 400. 400 is for that finish, and the 180 is sort of like in between. It depends. It depends how you want your finish. If you want it really, really high glass finish, uh, and it's like I'm using a silk, or I could have used um, a, basically a flat version, I don't touch gloss at all, it's just too glossy. Now, if you're using the varnish outside in the garden with a chair, you probably won't be giving a monkey's which sand paper you'd be using, you'd probably be using any old thing. And that goes without saying, it doesn't matter because it's out in the garden. But inside you do want your doors looking a bit. Sanding paper, sanding block. For this one, I'm actually using a softer one. It's to get into these little grains here, because on here, it's very difficult to get into. And the rubber ones tend to get into that a little bit better. But I wouldn't worry too much about this, because you don't put that much varnish in this bit. And also, another thing is, so whereabouts are we going to be sanding them? Well, you can sand them in situ. Just leave them up. But that's not recommended. If you're going to give it a good sand, get it outside. Get yourself a wooden horse. If you don't know what that is, you'll see in a minute. Get it outside and give it a proper sand down. If you do it inside, remember, you are going to be sanding that dust about. So when you put your varnish down, whatever type you're going to be using, it's going to be in the air. So really, you don't want to be doing that. And even when you've come to the point you've actually put them on and you actually varnish them up when they're fixed to the door. You just want to be a bit more careful with where that dust is going to. And in fact, 
I'll show you when we get to it what we're going to be doing. So what we're going to do is we're going to get this outside and we're going to give it a sand down. It's that simple. So what I would mention to you guys, you do need to take off all your handles and things. You can leave the hinges on if you like, they're fine, but do take off your handles and these parts if you want. If you've got electric sander, that's ideal. This is a 120 on here and that's all we need. And don't forget, when you're sanding, sand down the lines of the grain, always. Even down these parts, always sand with the grain. So I'll whip that off. So just put this stuff away nice and safely. Now if you're outside, you want to be wearing a mask, but if it's got a nice little wind like today, you'll be fine. But do make sure you close your doors, otherwise the dust will go straight in. I think I will wear a mask. <laughs> Now, if it's smooth, it should be fine. If you've got any rough bits, you know you haven't got there. That's fine. So you can see exactly what I'm doing. I'm going up and down those lines. So you're just keeping that to the grain all the time. So now we're gonna go up these ones. And again, you do the same in the middle here. And on the edges, you may have to just use a stress to straightforward non-electric. So we're gonna be moving on to these little bits now. So we're using straightforward sandpaper. This is just the 120. Probably that'd be plenty because it's a little bit rough in there. But you've got this as well. Now this is actually a 180 sandy block rubber. So you can just use this as it is. In fact, that's probably just as well. Just use that or that. Whichever you decide. So what you're going to be doing next, we turn the door over, do the same on the other side and also round the edges. And what we're going to be doing next, I'll show you. So all we need now is just an ordinary sweeping brush. You can do this with a vacuum cleaner if you like and just sweep it all off. Now, obviously, if you're inside, you wouldn't be doing this like this. Uh, you'd just be using the vacuum cleaner because you're outside, it's just dust is going in the air. And then just get yourself a cloth, just cloth it over. It's the best thing with a vacuum cleaner, you can get in all these edges. But we'll do that when we get inside, when we're gonna do the next touch. So what I'm gonna be doing, I'm gonna be carrying on finishing this. And in the next episode, I'll show you what to do next. And that'll be basically getting on with doing the finish and how to prepare this ready for your varnish. And we'll see you again very shortly on the Crazy Baker channel. Laters! This is the Crazy Baker Unleashed channel. Cars. Honest reviews. DIY. Toys. And behind the scenes of all the crap I buy. Old school memorabilia. Please subscribe and please share. Laters!